Alright, so the Vancouver Canucks lose yet again. This time it was to the Tampa Bay Lightning, and that brings them to a record of 0-1-2 on the year thus far. And listen, I get it. Say all you want about it still being early in the season. Say all you want about the Tampa Bay Lightning having their opening night, which fired them up to play. When you look at the effort, especially in the first period, it honestly just doesn't cut it. And I don't know what it was, whether it was the time difference. I mean, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt there. This is the longest flight that the Canucks are going to have all season to start a road trip. So maybe they weren't fully adjusted. But with that aside, I just thought that tonight the lines just weren't clicking. No matter how you look at it, we look discombobulated out there. And to a degree, it does confuse me a little bit because when we go back to the Calgary Flames game on opening night... In that first period, the Canucks were going crazy. It seemed like everyone on the team was lining up to put themselves down on the score sheet. It was coming from everywhere. And now you fast forward to game three, it just wasn't there from anyone. There were a couple of exceptions. I mean, Connor Garland works his ass off every single game. I gotta hand it to the guy because he is a hard worker. But you know what? A couple of the decisions were a little bit iffy. I didn't mind Baines in the lineup, but... To be honest, going into the game, I wasn't too sure about immediately throwing him on that top line. And it didn't exactly go too well. He was a little bit of a ghost. But what else can you really expect from a guy that's playing his first NHL game of the season against one of the, if not the best lines in the entire National Hockey League right now with Kucherov, Point, and Gensel? In terms of the game itself, I mean, I don't really want to spend too much time on it. You saw what happened. There was a 4-1 loss. The Canucks start off really slow here, and Juleson, who, I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't expect it all to be back in the lineup. I thought that Vinny Dayarnay was going to get a shot, and hopefully he does in the Florida game, but Juleson was out there. He falls awkwardly, loses the puck, and against the top line of the league, I mean, they're going to make you pay. It's Kucherov, who snipes a pass she loves. It's a nice goal, one nothing for the Lightning. And honestly, it would have been a couple more if it wasn't for Shiloves, who was actually looking pretty comfortable in this one. He was tracking the puck well and kept the Canucks in it. Late, the Canucks get a power play, and Pedersen has an opportunity to shoot it, but he hesitates. And I always wince when I see that, because I know the rookie Pedersen would never have done that, or the Pedersen from early last year would have just ripped that one. So I hope he knows that. That's what I want to see. Who cares if it goes over the net or gets blocked? Ideally, I want it in the goal, but I want him at least to be confident in shooting the puck because he passes this one off he does get it back again to which he does shoot but it's in a much less favorable position than the first one so I don't know just the confidence I want to see it and I know he still has it in him I still believe in Pedersen and I know he'll be back to form soon anyways the period ends one to nothing and then in the second period I can't lie the Canucks they didn't look that bad to start they had some chances but unfortunately weren't able to get it by Vasilevsky and then it kind of gets shot down when Braden Point gets himself on the board to make it two nothing this was a little bit of a backbreaker because the Canucks had some possession and then they didn't have anything to show for it point comes in scores this on she loves two nothing game that's how it ends going into the third period of play early on in the third period and the tampa bay lightning waste no time extending their lead to three nothing and at this point you kind of knew that the game was gonna be an uphill battle i mean come on after a decent start to the second period the boys just looked flat and you know that just wasn't good enough in front of the net to protect she loves the canucks do get one back it's connor garland here who's opportunistic and finds it in the pads of vasilevsky to make it three to one and the canucks do generate some chances after that to try and get themselves back in the game but it's too little too late and vasilevsky is just a brick wall along with the fact that the tampa bay lightning defensively actually played a pretty good structured game they get the empty net 4-1 is the final and the canucks take their first regular season defeat of the season and if you want my raw reaction to this game am i frustrated yes am i panicking nah i mean come on third game of the year it's the lightning home opener because their first one got postponed due to the hurricane so if the canucks lost this game and it was a valiant effort then so be it but i just thought the effort just wasn't good enough from any of our lines and i'm expecting some changes Hopefully they can dial in for the game against the Florida Panthers. The one thing is, I think that as a Vancouver Canucks fandom, we're quite impatient, especially after the start that we had last year. We're just waiting to get on the board, waiting, waiting, and it's not happened for three games here. But I assure you, it'll come. The boys just have to get dialed in, and I'm expecting a bounce-back effort. I've said it after every game, but I'm expecting a bounce-back effort against a pretty depleted Florida Panthers team that has lost Kachuk and Barkov due to injury. Also, one more thing before we wrap up. If you missed my last video, I announced that I will be on the Nuckhead podcast for next week's episode. It will release on Thursday morning, and we recorded it right before the Tampa Bay game, so there were some interesting takes 
make sure you check it out in the description down below to see how they aged. We went over a ton of other interesting topics regarding the Vancouver Canucks team, including Elias Pettersson, the defensive core, along with another preview for Thursday's game against the Florida Panthers. Make sure you check it out. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out and take care.